the 2015 Bassmaster Classic champion, Casey Ashley. Woo! Casey Ashley, everybody. The champ. Casey, how are you? What's going on, us? You watch the guy that wins, Kevin wins several times, and you think of what the feeling must be like to actually accomplish that and, you know, to gain that trophy and to stand there and give that speech to all, all the anglers and all your sponsors that are standing in that room. But you you don't really realize what comes with that trophy until it happens to you. And it's, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a life-changing experience, that's for sure. And, I, and you know that just as well as anybody. You got the classic on your home body of water. And you're the guy. It's Casey's tournament to lose. Yeah. And and especially after day two, where where you were back in the pack, hanging in what fourth, fifth, sixth, something like that. Yeah. Going into the final day and to rally like that yeah. when everybody was almost demanding it of you, you know, in the media and the, and the public, and uh, to come through like that. I mean, like like you did. Yeah. Uh, you know that that was an amazing accomplishment. That it had to be tremendous pressure on. You just have to tune all that out. You know, there's just nobody wanted as much as I did, but um, you know, you, somehow you just have to tune it all out. And, and I don't know how to tell you, you know, how I've done that because it, it is. It's, it's a lot of pressure being in your hometown on your home lake. Everybody expects you to do good, um, but you just have to block all that out when you get in the water. And you know, that's that's hard to do. And it, I was uh, just took a sigh of relief after the third day was over with. Tell us a little bit more about that technique because it was. When I watched it, I was super impressed because I fished. I fished a fish head spin before. I fished it for years, but but I saw you do something with it that was very unique. Tell us a little bit about the bait and and how you were fishing it because that that I think is interesting. You know, around here, that, that's that's been big for many many years. There's been a lot of tournaments won with that bait. A lot of money won on that bait. You know, but on the herring lakes, it, it's a big deal in cold water uh, um, you know when everybody they think of it as catching schooling fish or suspended fish but one thing i figured out over the years those fish get educated you know especially when they see the same old thing over and over um you know i i like to keep it as a finesse bait that's why i was putting the zoom super fluke junior on it uh, it's not it's not has it, it has very little action actually um but it's a it's a slow water cold weather bait but you know the one thing that i figured out you know, a lot of guys use it and they try to fish back on the bottom. Of the if you can stand the fish it that slow, um, you know, it's kind of aggravating and you'll kind of lose interest in it if you, if you go for so so long without a bite because you're having to fish it so slow, you can't cover very much water. You pretty much yeah. have to be very confident in it. You know, I was and you know, fishing it on the bottom like that something not a lot of guys do even around here but it allows you to catch those fish after they go down if they are schooling wow i i noticed something about the bait and i don't know if this is unusual or not but i've fished it i have a limited experience with the fish head spin but I, out of the package they seem to have a relatively small blade the ones that i've used and bought you had a 3.5 willow on yours that seemed really really big uh, it, it, is that key to using the bigger blade? Is that something you guys customize, or what that does, Ike? Is you know it, it allows you to feel the blade since you're working it so slow. Um, if you can't feel your blade turning, you make a long cast, let it go to the bottom in 30, 40 feet deep. You know if you can't feel your blade turning, that's 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 the wasted cast. Yeah. You know if something were to get fouled up or your your blade to get hung in the hook, you have to know that it's turning the whole time, and that's that's one key to that big blade. Plus, you know, the bigger the blade, you're trying to match the match the bait that you're going in, and that's a herring. So the bigger blade you can deal with, you know, that's that's what you want to go. With. Hey, everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Welcome to Ike Live. And I know what you're thinking. What the heck is Ike Live? Ike Live is a live video podcast. We do it twice a month for three hours. And we have on some of the sport's biggest names, pro anglers from around the world, pro athletes, and even entertainers and celebrities. They're all on the show. And we're here to take your questions. A big part of Ike Live is your feedback, interaction with you live on the show. This show is about a lot of laughs, hot topics, great fishing information, and stuff that's totally off the board. If you want to tune in to a good time, if you like to hunt fish or anything in between, check out Ike Live 
And you're going to love this show.